Using some of the features in Burp Intruder, we can actually automate some attacks on websites and then look at the results more as a batch instead of trying one thing at a time. So to test this, we have Firefox pointing to Burp Suite with the intercept on so that any requests that we make with Firefox to the web server are going to pass through Burp Suite and get trapped and then we can look at those requests closer and look at the responses as they come back from the server. So Burp Suite is listening on 8080, Firefox is pointing to Burp Suite on localhost 8080. So normally what we do is we make a request We can trap it in Burp Suite and then try to change it to see if there's anything that comes up from sending in special characters or trying to brute force or use other input. Trapping it in Burp Suite has an advantage of it's already passed any kind of JavaScript validation or HTML limitations such as max length, so there's no worries there. So if we forward this to the server, we get the response back. And then we can forward this back to the browser and look at the response. And so in this case, we sent in a single quote, and sure enough, there's an error. But you're not always going to know what the best characters to send in are. A lot of times you need to fuzz the input to figure it out. So we're going to use Burp Suite Intruder. We're going to go ahead and just clear this out with a normal request. Get the page back to where it was. We're going to make a request and we're going to trap it in Burp Suite. This time we're going to right click and say send to intruder. And then we're just going to drop this request. So in the intruder, we now have that request trapped and we're pointing at localhost 80. If we look at the request, Burp Suite has highlighted the different areas that are probably good for injection. We're going to clear those out because we're going to pick on just the username field. We're going to use what's called the sniper attack. That's the drop down here with sniper selected and it's the default. Sniper means that it's going to send the input into each of the highlighted fields in turn. Let's go ahead and highlight the username field. So if we had the password field highlighted as well like this, then the sniper attack will send in all of our keywords into the username field first, and then when it gets done, it'll send them all back through the password field. And we're only going to attack the username field. So we go over to the payloads tab, and payload set one is going to be used as the sniper. Since it's set on sniper, there's only one payload list allowed. Other attacks allow multiple payload lists. And we're going to create a payload list of bracket, single quote, letter A, number one, maybe some punctuation, just some stuff to test with. So we have our position of the username field. We've picked a sniper attack with a payload of these six payloads. And now we're going to say intruder start attack. And so Burp Suite will actually iterate through those and let us look at each request more in a batch format. We can look at the responses, even render them. So the key thing to note here is that the baseline request returned 20,926 bytes. However, there's a big difference between those requests and the one with the single quote. And if we look at it, we can see the reason is, is because of the error message that came back from the SQL injection vulnerability. So by using the intruder, we've been able to quickly look at a lot of requests at once. And naturally, we would send in a lot of input in order to really take advantage of this. FuzzDB on SourceForge has a very large list of files that you can load. And that's a great place to get large lists of input to send into Burp Intruder.